Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to set a static page as the home page of your Blogger website. Now, what happens by default in a Blogger website is that when you create a Blogger website, the home page by default has the list of posts. So this is the home page of our Blogger website. And here we can see all the posts are being displayed over here. Now that is not always you want to have. Sometimes you need to have a static page as the home page. You may need to display some of your products or some of the other information that you want on the home page. And this list of blog posts may not be that important for you on the home page. So in that case, you need to change the home page to a static page. That's what we're going to do in this video. So let's get started. Now what we're going to do is we're going to redirect the home page to another page that we create in our blogger website. Now when someone goes to this URL over here, we will redirect them to another page which we will create as the home page. And then we'll display this list of posts in another page. So let's go back to our blogger dashboard and uh, let's go to pages and uh, let's create a new page. Now you have to select the title that you want to have as the URL of uh, the home page. So we'll just type home over here. Now we'll have this page as the home page. I'm not going to add the home page design over here. I'll just create a simple text and I'll just type home page so that we'll be able to understand that the home page is displayed. So if you want, you can go ahead and uh, click on HTML view and create your own custom design for the home page. For now, I'll just have this text over here and uh, maybe I'll just create this as a heading. Right, so now we're going to make this as the home page of our website. So let's go over here to options and we'll just click on do not allow or hide existing comments and then click on publish. And here we can see our home page has been created. So let's go ahead and view the page. This is how it looks. Below we also have the popular post displayed over here. So we'll remove this from our home page and we also want to remove this date and this title. But before that, let's go ahead and redirect our main page to this uh, new home page that we created. So for that, you have to go over here to Blogger Dashboard and go to Settings. And then scroll down and uh, go to Errors and Redirects. And then click on Custom Redirects. And then click on Add. And here you have to add uh, the links of the main page and the home page that you created. But uh, you don't have to add the whole link over here. You can just add forward slash for the home page. And for this, we can just copy this from here and add it over here. And then click on permanent and then click on OK. And then just go ahead and click on save. Or right, we can see that our settings have been updated. So here we can see it says one item. Let's click on that. And uh, we have two forward slashes over here. Let's delete one and uh, click on OK, save. Right now we have the custom redirects from the main page to the custom home page. Let's go back to our website and refresh this page. And we can see that the main page is being redirected to our custom home page. Let's delete this and uh, refresh it once more. We can see it goes back to the custom home page. Now let's go ahead and hide some of these elements. So we have to hide this popular post widget from here. And we also have to hide the date and this title. So for that, we will add a body class to our uh, blogger website. So if I right click over here and click on inspect. And if I scroll up, we can see that for the body tag, we have some classes. Right now we have a class of item view and the version number. So these are the two classes that we have right now for uh, this static home page. Now we'll add a specific class to the static home page so that when we are on this home page, we'll have that class. But when we are on any other page, we won't have that class. So for that, let's go back to our blogger dashboard and go to theme. And we'll click on uh, this arrow and click on edit HTML. And uh, let's scroll down. And uh, here when we go to the start of the body, we can see we have some B class over here and we have a condition. And if the condition is true, we have this name, which is going to be added as the class. So let's go ahead and add our own custom B class over here. So we'll just type less than B colon class. And we have to add a condition. So I'll just type COND equals. And I'll just close this over here. 
and in the condition we have to check whether the current URL is this URL right here. So here we will type data colon blog dot URL and then we will type equals equals and we will just copy this uh, page URL from here and uh, let's paste it over here inside double quotes. Right now we are checking whether the current blog URL is this right here and if it's the case then we have to add a custom class so we'll just type name and we'll just add a class of static home page and uh, let's save it so let's refresh our page and let's right click and inspect and if you go to the body we can see we have this class called static home page and if you go to any other posts so let's go over here to the first post and right click over here and inspect now we can see that the static home page class is not here in the body so the body only has the static home page when we are on the custom home page right here so now we can use this class to hide all the elements that we don't want so let's go back to our theme code and let's go to the CSS so this is all the CSS let's go to the end of the CSS and here let's add our own custom CSS so I'll just add a comment we'll just type static home page and here we'll type body dot static home page which is the class that's being added when we are on the static home page so here we need to hide all the elements that we don't need so let's go to the post and see what are the classes so I'll just right click over here and inspect and here we can see for popular posts we have this ID called popular post one so we'll target that so here I will just type hash because it's an ID I'll just type popular posts one and we'll just type display none and let's save it and let's refresh our page and here we can see on the custom home page we don't have the popular posts and let's go to another post and here we can see we have these popular posts but on the custom home page we don't have the popular posts and let's also delete these two elements from here so right click and inspect this one has a class called post header and the s3 has a class called post title so let's target them let's go to the CSS and here I'll just add a comma and I'll just copy this and paste it over here and I will just type post header and comma and paste it over here and post title right now let's save it and see whether it works and uh, let's refresh our page and we can see that all the elements that we don't need are uh, hidden and uh, we just have home page displayed over here now you can go ahead and add your own custom HTML and CSS to create your own custom static home page as you need now the next thing we need to do is we need to have a page that displays all the posts because our main page is now redirecting to this custom home page and now we cannot access all the other posts but in blogger if you type the main URL forward slash index.html you will find the list of all the posts so we'll use this page to display all the posts so let's copy this URL from here and let's go back to our page so we'll go to pages and click on home and here we can add a link so I'll just type all blog posts and I'll just select this and click on this button called insert or edit link and I'll just paste the link over here and then let's click on apply and let's update so let's go to the main page and here we can see we have this custom home page and when we click on all blog posts we can see that all the blog posts are being displayed over here and we can access any of these from here so that's basically how you add a static home page to your blogger website now you can also add the link of all the posts over here as a navigation menu so I have some videos on creating custom navigation menus for a blogger website you can watch that I will leave the link in the description of this video and you can add the link of all the blog posts or any other important page you have in your website over here in the navigation menu so that is basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button 
and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.